Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lennon from Baseball Development Group. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a regression to the walk-in called the split stance throw. So oftentimes in the walk-in drill, what we'll see, especially with novice athletes or kind of younger athletes in general, is as they're stepping into the, th into the throw with the walk-in, they have a really hard time of understanding how to pull their trunk back and create that kind of trunk stacking effect. So oftentimes you'll see if you're viewing the athlete from the side during that walk-in, they're shifting their center of mass forward with themselves and kind of lunging into that lead leg, right? Obviously that's something that we, that we don't want to do. The whole kind of purpose of that walk-in throw is try to disassociate that trunk from the pelvis. So a regression to the drill, we can kind of scale it back and make it just a simplified version where we're going to get into the end position that we want them to be in. So in that split stance throw, right, we're gonna get into a wide stance. We're going to pretty much almost fully extend that front knee, just driving into the toe of my back foot. From here, we're gonna cue the athletes the same way that we do the walk-in where as you, you know, in the walk-in, as you move forward, we're cueing them to drive their trunk back. Here in the split stance, they're gonna anchor themselves into the ground and do that same thing, trying to drive that trunk away from their intended target while keeping their feet as square as they possibly can into the, into the target. So doing a couple reps here, this is what it should look like. I'm gonna keep my chest facing the target initially, cue myself to counter rotate with the trunk initially and go into the throw.